Now this, a lecturer in the University of the West Indies, the Faculty of Law in St. Augustine campus, believes intellectual property has a vast potential in the region, but is not being harnessed. Dr. Emma Perot believes it is time Trinidad and Tobago benefits from intellectual property, especially since the region itself has a vast creative industry. Intellectual property refers to creations of the mind, such as inventions, literary and artistic works, designs, symbols, as well as images used in commerce, and is protected in law in various ways, including copyright, patents, and trademarks. Dr. Perot noted that Carnival alone is a host of intellectual property and is certain it would benefit many. I think some people might know, but they choose to not enforce rights because they just don't know how to go about the enforcement or perhaps they have had bad experiences in the past. And of course, you will have some entities that just blatantly choose to disregard and do not adequately compensate or respect people's rights, as well as misconceptions that people have about how intellectual property works. Dr. Perot added that even small and micro businesses have rights to their intellectual property. So whether you are in the creative field where you'll have loads of IP, or maybe you're just running a small retail business where you're importing and selling via an Instagram store, your logo is something that you can um, have IP in, in terms of the copyright behind it. You need to make sure you're dealing properly with the copyright. Are you getting an assignment? Are you getting an exclusive license? What exactly do you have when you pay the designer for that? Uh, what rights does the designer retain? World Intellectual Property Day is being celebrated on April 26th, and the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus continues to raise awareness of this area, especially for the local creative industry.